Welcome back everyone to Proxy Hatcher and Master. In the last episode, I may have suffered my biggest embarrassment yet on the YouTube. Hopefully we don't repeat it this time. This time I'm out for revenge. Let's begin. Oh, oh my goodness, that's by far the highest LMR opponent we've had. Root Logic 4.7. And it is the dreaded matchup of ZVZ. Now, I think for this one, I'm definitely going to... Oh, that's actually a little bit uh, of a bad split on drones there. For this one, I'm going to have to use my best proxy hatch against Zerg that I know, which is the actual Spine Rush. Not the Spine Rush that caused me a lot of embarrassment, but the Spine Rush that has actually got us a few wins. Um, I think I should probably do a little bit more of an all-in version. The scariest thing about this, guys, my opponent is significantly higher MMR than me, which means that it's more likely he's going to play safe. If he plays safe and goes for a pull first against what I'm doing, I am not quite sure if I can overcome that with my build. So that's definitely scary. Now, I would like to make the hatch at 16. I'm not sure if my drone arrives in time. Actually, not sure if it matters. I should just make it anyway. Now, I'm going to make the hatch here. Again, Zerg, you always have to be careful to not be scouted by an Overlord. Zerg should send their Overlords across. If he would scout this, I'm pretty sure we just die instantly. So that's why I'm not going to make it here. I'm actually going to make it all the way there instead. And then go for a gas. Make... I think I'm going to make three more drones. That's how it works, I believe. Um, it's, I mean, it's always a bit different. There's probably a different optimal version for every single matchup. Like, I do know that the way I do a Spinecrawler Rush in ZVT and ZVP is different. Now, in ZVZ, Spinecrawler Rushes don't usually exist. There's, like, the one with the 12 pool. Not usually a one with a proxy hatch, though. So, I guess we'll see. And I'm gonna send two drones out together with this guy over here. The ones that finishes from the eggs. And I'm just gonna have to dodge the Overlord, and that's about it. Now, I haven't seen the Overlord yet, but it's actually a little bit scary. Seeing the Overlord always helps you make the right movement with your workers. Still think I should be arriving in time though, so that's good. Judging by this Overlord, his Overlord should be, yeah, exactly, right around there. Um, maybe I can just go in between, actually. That looks way faster. Should probably be going for that instead. And my Overlord's just gonna scout. Hopefully there's a hatch first. If this is not a hatch first, we're gonna be in trouble for sure. So let's make a bunch of links, then start cutting this as well. Make speed. And then get two spine crawlers going. I'm not sure if I should be making a queen yet. It does sound smart to make a queen, but I'm not 100% sure. And how many links do I need as well? This is going to be a little bit of a question. Now, he does have the hatch. That's good new. The hatch is there. I think there's a really good chance I'm going to be able to deny this natural. Okay, there's a spine crawler going on now. Actually, a little bit surprising. I guess, uh, I guess it was timed with the overlord seeing no natural. Um, this is still a weird response, I believe, because normally... If you see no hatch, you're supposed to defend into the main. So this is going to be a little bit rough. I also notice there's a little bit of ping going on here. Uh, but we'll see. I do have a lot of Zerglings, of course. And now we're going to have to walk those across. Come over here, guys. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's going to be two spines against one. Maybe I can surround this queen. Okay, he does have a lot of Zerglings. Need to be careful with this one. There we go. Going to bury them both right here. Okay, two spines are burrowing. It's really good. I have enough links to beat this now, I believe. I'm actually going to make an aggressive queen. Two spines are burrowed. Need to attack his spine 100%. And kill these zerglings. These zerglings are doing a lot of damage. This is going to be a little bit of a close one. It looks like we have the advantage here, guys. The spine is going to go down. We're going to get the queen with the transfuse. Other queen gets surrounded. Oh my goodness. Spines are both alive on red health. And now there's more links finishing. Really good surround there, actually. And now the natural is doomed for sure. Gonna be able to kill those links here. And it looks like our spine rush has done it. It was definitely a close one here, though. But I think without speed and with losing those spines, there's not much he can do. Gonna be able to go into the main. As you can see, no baning this ready or anything like that. Let's get an inject going. And it seems like the highest LR player we played against barely does die to the spine rush. And it's very scary. Like, if you look at the HP on the spines, it was definitely close. Looking at the supply, after all the damage I did, it was still relatively close. I really wonder what happened if a Zerg this good would have just defended the main and then decided to play a macro game from there. I think it could have been very difficult. I mean, you guys have seen how weird my ZVZ looks, so that would have been interesting. But we're starting off with a big win, which is fantastic. Now, let's keep it going. Another Zerg player called Player. All right, interesting. Now, the last build I did in ZVZ, I feel like that's my only reliable proxy hatch. And that's a problem because you guys know I like variety. I'm not going to do the same build twice in a row. So I'm kind of thinking of what build I could do instead. Uh, I definitely want to proxy a hatch near their base. I really wonder if I could just use a proxy hatch as distraction. Now, this is another one of those mark you thermal experiments that probably is going to result in a loss but we're going to figure it out and if it is a win it's going to be extra funny so here we go now what build can i 
Wait, can I build a hatch on his natural fast enough? I don't think so. I think I'm a little bit too late for that. Hatches go down. Hatch first, I think, is 43 seconds in game. It's gonna be pretty close. It would be really funny if I could just block his hatchery with my own hatchery. That sounds fantastic. Let's see. Oh, it's actually gonna be super close, isn't it? Let's see, is there a drone here? Oh, there's no drone here. Huh. Maybe he's not expanding himself. I'm actually gonna take my own hatch first. What if I build a hatch here? <laughs> this is probably the dumbest thing I've done. Seems like we're kind of being cheesed there. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a drone scout first. Drone scouting in, uh, in ZVZ is super weird, but I'm gonna do it anyway because he's not making a hatchery. Let's see, that is a very fast spawning pool. I guess we can see if he's gonna pull his workers to attack me. There's no... There's no gas being taken. I think there's also no hatchery yet, right? Let's see. Is he maybe doing a spine crawler rush against me? I know you can't quite see the edge of creep, so... I actually have a really silly idea here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna build a spine on the edge of his creep if he lets me do it. Oh, he's starting to take the base now. I don't think so. He's gonna take another base, really? I'm not even taking a gas just because I'm gonna do this really silly thing of making a spine in his... <laughs> I'm being 12 full and I'm gonna make a spine. I should probably be saving larva actually. Maybe I shouldn't have made that extra drone. Let's see, I'm gonna make a spine right there. I do need to pull drones to defend this. I don't know if I can afford all the things I want to do. But we're just gonna have to go for it. I'm gonna pull 11 drones. That probably sounds like enough. And then make a bunch of zerklings. Oh, I yeah, I actually did make one drone too many. That's unfortunate. And they just kind of have to micro back and forth like this. Until you can actually survive. Now, I wonder if the spine in his main is actually going to end up doing a lot of work or not. There you go. Good micro so far. As long as the hatch doesn't die, we're pretty happy, I believe. That's usually what you want to go for. Here we go. Oh, this looks like a really nice fight. Don't want to lose too many drones, of course. Let's see. I, it's funny because I'm playing gasless, which is really weird. I'm going to attack him to distract him. Oh, he found me. I'm actually going to let it finish. No, I'm not going to let it finish. It's dying a little bit too fast for my taste. There we go. I'm gonna probably... I'm actually gonna build a spot. Do I have enough links? I might have more links than him, you know? You know, I can actually do this, I believe. A reverse spine crawler rush. I haven't built a proxy hatch yet. Guess I'll just... <laughs> or, well, I made a proxy spine crawler. I need to make a proxy hatch at some point. There we go. Maybe I should just build it somewhere for a, a third base. I actually hide a hatchery. That's my plan. Dude, if this works, that's actually pretty sick. It's really funny how my proxy hatch turned into a proxy spy crawler rush. But the rule is that I do have to proxy hatch, so I'm gonna go with it no matter what. Because I do not like breaking my own rules. Playing completely gasless as well in this ZVZ. Now this looks like a good enough fight. It's not the best position ever, but I just have enough links. There we go. Surrounding him. Gonna take a hidden base right here. And then I guess my plan as a follow-up, if I don't win the game with this, is to simply go for... Probably Mutalisk or so. I really love playing with Mutas. It's probably my favorite Zerg unit to play with. But I mean, if he's going to lose these bays, he's probably going to be in a massive amount of trouble anyway. Yeah, there we go. All right. Kind of a semi-proxy hatch game. Didn't really win with a proxy hatch. Normally, I might be a bit questionable about the rules. But I think this game was stupid enough uh, for it to count. Like, obviously, against a 12 pool. If I built a hatchery here, I would have lost instantly. So, uh, pretty happy I didn't, I, I didn't do that. Um... I really wish my spike... Like, if I could ruin my spike crawler here, it would be so freaking funny. Uh, I really wonder how this game would have played out, by the way. I've never really played a ZVZ, where I have a hatch in the edge of the map, trying to make mutas. Probably might have made spine crawlers here, even get a fourth base here. Actually, on this map, that's a very interesting strategy with the back base. You can basically play four or five base with one or two proxy hatches. Just go mass mutas. Anyway, that's two ZVZ, ZVZ wins in the back. Let's keep it going. And we have finally been promoted to Master League. I've been telling you guys we have enough MMR. And now finally we are there. And now our quest really begins. Can we get Grandmaster with proxy hatches? Let's find out. All right, third game is against the Protoss. Now, I do have to say, I find proxy hatching against Protoss also pretty intimidating. I have like two of them that work super well. But if I do a macro proxy hatch, it feels like I don't quite get the advantage I need. So maybe... I'll just go for my standard 13 pool proxy hatch. There's one build I want to try, but I might want to try it on a different map. I have a, a proxy hatch in mind where I basically just fake them out, go for a macro game. But I feel like on a short map like this, I know it doesn't look short, but the rush this is pretty small, trust me. I feel like on a short map like this, I might die to like some counterattack adepts or so. So on this map, I'm going to go for my quote-unquote standard uh, 13 full proxy hatch. Uh, but on another map, I do have a cool idea for a macro proxy hatch. Let's do the extractor trick right there. 
I sent my drone out earlier this time in the hopes to avoid the probe scout. I'm not actually 100% sure what, what route the probe scout takes. I hope it doesn't come here, else everything was for nothing. I think it probably goes through the middle, right? Can't see it coming here. I actually did have one game that was actually in a tournament. I don't remember who it was against. Or no, it was actually in a video. Or maybe it was in a video in a tournament. Those things are possible these days. Where I build a barracks here, and then I think the adept just walked into it like it was their normal pathing the scout. And I was like, ah, oh, well that is good to know. Uh, but at least he didn't see my drone moving out, so he might not expect the hatch to come down. Let's see, probe is scouting us right now. And then we're gonna plop down the hatchery in the perfect position against the gateway. <gasps> Wait, this is actually a full wall on this map, right? Yeah, this could actually be a full wall. This is a pretty sick map for this, actually. And what is he gonna do? He's probably gonna build a cyber core right there. Ah, he's gonna go for the forge hold. Okay, this is important to know. Uh, against the forge hold, we probably cannot quite commit as hard. You see how... Oh, this is actually a full wall off. Okay, so then I'm just going to go for the gateway. And I'll probably have to macro behind it. I don't really like macroing behind it. So I uh, might still try to do a crazy link flood or something like that. Uh, but we'll see. You guys know me. I told you guys I play like a baboon. And you cannot tell me I have lied about that. Because I definitely do play like a baboon when I'm Zerg. So I have my three hatches up. I'm, I think I'm just going to check out how good his, his hold is. So he's going to go for a cannon there with a zealot. He's probably going to make another cannon here, looks like. This hatch, I could cancel it. I think I'm actually going to use it for spines instead. That seems a little bit wiser, maybe. I think I'm actually getting enough surface area on that. Yeah, this cannon is going to die pretty soon, I believe. It is pretty close, actually. Let's see, as long as the cannon dies, we're pretty good. Zealot's going to die, too. And just like I predicted, the hold was not good enough. Keep in mind, guys, there is no gateway here. He cannot build units. And it looks like my self-invented build of the 13-pull proxy hatch is doing it again. Though he's actually going to be able to survive. Oh, barely didn't heal that with the battery. I'm actually going to kill the battery from the outside. Make a spine. Dude, this build is actually so sick, honestly. I'm... <laughs> The pause rage quit. That is perfect. That is the response I expect when I do a beautiful proxy hatch like this. And this is actually, I've done it a few times now. I've only really gotten to show what the point of it is, I think, twice. Maybe it's only the second time. But I absolutely love this creation. This is so good against Protoss. And I know there's out there Terrans and Protoss players and Zerg players that get tortured by playing against Protoss on the ladder. Maybe this is your answer. The 13 pool proxy hatch invented by me. Beautiful build. One of my best creations. And because the games are so short, I'm going to give you guys a bonus fourth game. Let's go. Oh, we got another Zerg player. I guess this is the ZVZ episode playing against Vic. Another 4.7, though I guess RMR is already getting a bit higher too. We are currently at 4.4. Hopefully if we win this game, maybe we could even reach 4.5. But it's kind of hard to imagine beating two four seven Zergs in the same episode with a proxy hatch. Now, I think this one, uh, I am actually going to do a little bit more of a crazy proxy hatch. I'm not going to try to do a spine rush. I'm going to try to win this one purely off of mental warfare. Uh, I'm going to try to confuse it with my proxy hatch. I'm going to play it relatively normal after building a hatch next to his base and just see how it works out. You guys know me. Uh, I like to win, but I also like to experiment. And I love the variety, so I'm not going to go with my bread and butter spine proxy hatch again. Um, I Yeah, the thing is, I do need to get a hatch on my own base at some point. I just don't know when I can afford that. Like, I'm quite literally going for a hatch first on his base without trying to cheese him, which... It already sounds ridiculous when I say it. And I'm trying to think of an answer of what I can do. I th mm, I think the best thing I can do is actually get speed and zerglings. And hope he gets scared so he doesn't get speed himself that fast. And then I can maybe do some outplays by running into his base, stuff like that. Notice how I'm making very little drones here as well. Uh, I really just want to get my speed and my queens out as fast as possible to put some pressure. Now I can also I can actually make a spine here. And maybe just drone up to scare him, you know? Um, because if I... Let's say he makes six extra zerglings. And maybe a few spines, right? Let's say I make two spines, six extra zerglings. That's five drones. If I have the proxy hatch, my economy is slightly worse. Maybe I'll be three, four drones up. The only problem is my armies are not going to be synced together, right? Like, it's going to be a big challenge to get my army from this hatch to sync up with this one. I'm um, just going to see how it works out. I don't think I saw any links on the map. So we're probably not being cheesed, but... You know, who knows? I feel like Zergs have all these kind of weird cheeses that are, yeah, kind of unpredictable. Now, do I make more drones here? That's something I'm not sure about. I definitely want to go for plus one upgrades. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, the hatch is a little bit later. No, it's actually a little bit earlier than mine. My bad. Uh, I'm going to get speed here. And then a queen here. And then I guess 
I'm actually make some extra links and just see if there's anything I can do with them. I think if I make eight links, that's already pretty scary for him. And then after, I can maybe make one spine there and drone up. Let's see if he's scared yet. He doesn't seem to be scared yet, actually, which is kind of surprising. Um, I'm going to make an Evo here as well. I'm going to go for plus one attack. Where's the Overlord? I haven't seen it yet, guys. He has a, a few Zerg links. I did make an Overlord, right? Yeah, okay. I was, I was starting to get scared there. Let's see. It's a bunch of Zerglings we can actually damage. He's making a lot of links. Uh, and he's actually moving them out. That's the surprising part. Why are these links moving out? I'm not quite sure. Oh, I actually surrounded them on accident. That is very nice. And now I can actually get these off gas as well. And now we can just start making drones and whatnot. I'm really surprised by what he is doing as well, to be fair. Like, he sent out so many links on the map, and I have no idea why. Let's see what he has. Is he just straight up link flooding me? Or what is this supposed to be? I don't know. Now, should I make a... S I, need, I need a spine here, I think. Not sure what I can do if it's not for the spine. Here we go. It's a few links going down, actually. Very nice. I'm just afraid of losing this overlord. Um, I'm getting my plus one, but... Oh, here we go. This looks like a decent fight. Yeah, he has a spine. Okay. Now, how scared is he really? That, I do not know. There we go with the spine crawler. Um, I cannot really... You know, transfer drones, that is a big problem here. He's still making a lot of units himself, which is good to know. Does he have as many drones as me? Or does he have more? Less? I don't know. Let's see, is he still here? Ah, oh, he's making bailings, yeah, that's what I thought. I'm just gonna make a spine here as well. This is gonna be very difficult. Maybe with my own spine I can defend. I need to micro this very, very well to even have a chance here, I think. I'm actually considering making a second spine too. I'm actually just gonna do it, frick it, you never know. Okay, so he's trying to attack me. I'm gonna send a few drones here. Oh, that's actually a little bit of a misclick there. That's unfortunate. He does have one bailing left, I believe. Need to get the spine to target that. There we go. Uh, it does look like we're gonna get overpowered here, though. The second spine is gonna be too late. This is kind of what I was afraid of. Uh, I do feel like we got maybe blind countered a little bit, because his build seemed like he was going for a link flood. But now the outplays can maybe begin. This is what I'm hoping for. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it to the main... <laughs> He's really surprised. It's, it's okay, Vic. I would be surprised too. Don't worry about it. Uh, I think all my viewers are surprised when they see this. But yeah, I think this guy, the proxy hatch, just a little bit too little chance of working. Let me see how many drones he has, actually. Uh, I'm not sure there's anything to be done. No, actually, he, only, he did only have three drones, so he was quite all in. I might have even had more drones than him, I believe. Not 100% sure about that, but I might have had more drones than him. Maybe like one or two more drones, right? Now, I don't have a spine here. I do have plus one. That's my only saving grace here. Plus one is very, very strong. Let's get this queen in the nook there. At this point, he saw my evolution chamber. And he's probably realizing that my links are a bit stronger than his. And maybe I can... No, he's still going. I, I was really hoping I could maybe get around. I mean, I'm going to take a good trade here. Keep in mind, the upgrade is pretty big. Um, I mean, I'm not going to trade infinitely better. But it's going to be able to trade decently. You see, these, these things are actually kind of like Sparta Zerglings. They're holding up better than I expected. But he really had like three, th three times my Zergling count. Now, I'm not going to give up easily. Obviously, I do now is looking pretty dire at this point. Let's see. Queen is going to hold the position there. Let's see if I can do a little bit more. No, the, the ending did actually detonate. I mean, I feel like I microed as well as I could, but the strategy leaves a little bit to be desired. I told you guys, I was going to hope to win this one on Mental Warfare. This is obviously not the best strategy I could have done, but I was really hoping he'd be a little bit scared. Let's just for a little bit of science see how he actually reacted. Um, so he scouted my natural. Yeah, the, the weird part here is that he was just sending links across the map. This is what really confused me. I think what he did was just make mass links. Um, as soon as he saw there was no natural and didn't really think about anything else. I'm not quite sure what he expected. If this is a one base baiting all in, you're supposed to make a baiting as yourself. But maybe he doesn't have the hold down completely. So, but yeah, in the end, his response was perfect. He owned me. I really tried to get into his head, force him to maybe make like three spine crawlers or something crazy. But he was very, very civil with it. He made only one spine and just made a bunch of links. Um, 
Maybe if my bases were connected, it would have been doable, as you can see here. I have one more drone. No, one less drone, actually. I had one less drone than him. And instead of bailing nest, I had the plus one attack. That was my idea. Try to get some outplays by running into the base. But instead, he just went for me and killed me with bailings, which is obviously what he should have done. So well done by Vic. Our strategy didn't work. We'll try something different next time. But I'm happy with the experiment. We got three wins after all, so we can't be too sad. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure to give the video a like if you did. Subscribe to the channel. And to see y'all for the next one. Adios.